So you've got um, five Midwest states here, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Michigan, and Ohio. You've got how much the state spent on education in 2014-2015 uh, as K-12 education. And then you've got the population on the right. So one of the things that comes up again and again in the course is using a table to get information and then work the problem, right? So um, this is a problem where you have a lot of information provided and you have to kind of sort through which information is actually important to do the problem. So we're going to use a proportion because we're going to ask a question, which is like, what would we be expect? I think the one they use is what would we expect Indiana to, to be spending on K-12 education if they were more like Illinois. So just in case you're not familiar in the comparison of these two states, um, you can see in the table that Illinois spends more on education, 28.5 billion compared to 10 billion. Part of that is just because Illinois is a bigger state. It's almost twice as big as Indiana. Um, but you can see that if we doubled 10 billion, that would still not be anywhere near 28.5 billion. So in general, Illinois spends more on uh, K-12 education than Indiana does. Doesn't mean they have better schools. Doesn't mean they love their kids more. It's a different way of running the operation of education. Um, probably a lot of it has to do with um, salaries and what they compensate the people who work in the educational system. So um, in terms of like talking about it and making comparisons, per capita is helpful in that regard. It's not fair to just say Illinois is spending 28.5 billion and Indiana is spending 10 billion because then someone's going to clap back and be like, oh, yeah, but Illinois is a bigger state. So that's why the math is important because it allows you to dig a little deeper and per capita would be one way to compare it. But this proportional expectation is a way to kind of compare the top line number and not use ratios to do it. So what I would do is make sure that I stick the three numbers, Illinois education expenditures and the two populations into this, leaving Indi Indiana's expenditures as an unknown. That's the part that's kind of tricky, I think, because Indiana's expenditures is known. And so it's like you're pretending that you don't know it so that you can solve this proportion. So I'm going to have us do a practice problem like that using same information. Just copied it over here. And my question is, what would Michigan be spending on K-12 education if they were more like Ohio? Okay. So as you're setting up your proportion, remember consistency is key. So maybe you'd put Michigan's numbers on the left, you'd put them on the right. As you're trying to think about which of the numbers, and also these numbers are not are irrelevant, right? So we can actually just kind of block that out. We don't even need to think about it. These are my four numbers that I need. And in fact, these are, we could use, we could set up a proportion using that kind of format. Um, but anyways, I'll just, I'm going to stop talking and give you a little bit of time to try to set up a proportion. Your job is to figure out which of those four numbers you're taking out and treating it like it's a question mark or a variable. Um, okay, so I set up the Ohio numbers on the left. Ohio on the left, okay. Mm -hmm. So I did the uh, 20.23 uh, billion. Okay, over 11.6 million. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you put Michigan's yeah. on the right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so what did you put on top? X, X okay. X. Yeah. And uh, 9.9 .9 million, but I didn't okay. calculate it yet. <laughs> so. Sure. Okay, what do you guys think about that? Does that seem reasonable? Does it seem organized and consistent? I just, um, I 